Turista Libre started about two years ago, coming up on two years, and the idea is to give foreigners the chance to experience Tijuana like a Tijuanense, like a Tijuana native for just a day. And the ironic part about that is that Tijuana essentially was a city that was built for tourists. But um, with everything that's happened with the, the drug-related violence, the death of traditional tourism, the city has kind of become a, a ghost town in the sense of tourism. But with this project, it kind of shows that people do have an interest to come in and, and, and experience what it is to, to be in Tijuana, but just in an alternative sense. So instead of taking them down the traditional you know, path of the big bars on Avenida Revolución, uh, we'll go to Lucha Libre matches or um, a water park or a roller skating party or a soccer game or a music festival like what we're doing today. So yeah. The type of person who comes to Turista Libre is probably a bit more urban savvy um, than your traditional, you know, amusement park tourist. <laughs>we've been coming down here since we were 15 pretending we were 18 and it was just that time again we're here to support this economy and we're here to listen to some good music and get some culture in our lives why not already it used to not be scary when we were younger now it's all the media hype it is media hype it's just what they want to feed everybody and people believe it and they won't come down to see for themselves Everybody is like, you are crazy. And then we have the people that have been around this for a long time, that have grown up and experienced Tijuana that are like, why didn't you tell us about this earlier? We want to be here. Okay, today we're going to the All My Friends Music Festival, which is an uh, annual music festival. This is the second year they've done it. And some 35 local bands are playing at a mansion. And it's going to be three stages. Um, up to 2,500 people and a pool party as well. Uh, but right now we're starting it off with some lunch at a place called La Casa del Mole, the, 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 the mole house. And um, they do really great mole on top of anything and everything. I think because it's a really great example of like a Tijuana restaurant that no one might really find on their own, but it's very popular among locals. I've always enjoyed coming down. With Teresa Libre, it actually got my feet wet again. To be able to see a bunch of awesome music. My family watches the local news, and so I think that they would be a little bit fearful of me coming down here, so it's just best that they don't know. Uh, I don't feel that way. I don't feel threatened walking on the street. I'll tell them when I, when I see them. And I'd had that experience where people were like, you should never go there because you'll die immediately. But then you go, and it's fine. I found a new love again that I had lost a, a long time ago. No, I had nothing but joy and excitement to come back to, um, to this place of undiscovered treasures. <laughs>